Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're in Act 6.3, and this is quest number four. And I'm going to show you the path that I think is the easiest path for your initial clear. And it's going to be that one right there with Abomination. Now you're going to need someone to deal with this Abomination, someone poison immune or like Ghost who can actually take any poisons that she gets and convert them into Furies. Otherwise, this is a pretty straightforward fight. And you're gonna find that all of the fights on this path have their own specific nodes. So there's no one path node that you have to really deal with. You're gonna have to look at each node and we will look at that as we progress and see what you have in store for each particular fight so nothing too uh fancy about this fight here if you know how to fight uh abomination you're golden a lot of counters for this fight uh ghost obviously uh any robots guillotine 2099 visions if you want to use them just anyone that's poison immune omega red works wonderfully uh, but as long as they're poison immune, you are safe and you won't have a bad time at all. All right, so down goes Abomination. You can see the little network symbol. Uh, that made this a little longer than it could be, but we didn't have to worry about that for too, too often anyway. All right, next up, we've got Iron Patriot. Again, very easy fight. I look at the uh, buffs and see this one, uh, they're different. Nothing to really worry about there. That recovery can catch you if you're not careful, you know, right towards the end. But other than that, it's just a normal Iron Patriot fight. As long as you don't get caught by his special two. And the special one, it took me a little bit to learn how to evade that one you want to delay slightly. You don't want to evade right when he fires it off. Now, of course, with Ghost, I don't have to worry about that, but if you're fighting with anyone else, you wanna wait like maybe a half second when you see him about to fire it off and then evade. Now, you see here where he's got the regen, that's where you could get caught. So you wanna just be careful uh, with that at the end. But otherwise, he went down nice, smooth, and easy. All right, so that's it for Iron Patriot. Next up, we've got Rhino. And we're going to take a look at his buffs, and I'm going to tell you why I don't like it. All right, so again, different buffs. Fury, don't care. Immunity to bleed, don't care. But that's stun immunity. Putting stun immunity on Rhino is very annoying to me. Now, Ghost can handle that, okay? So as you can see, it doesn't matter to Ghost whatsoever. But if you're fighting with someone else to get your openings, you can't intercept because Rhino goes unstoppable. Uh, I believe you might, I don't remember, but Captain America Infinity War might be able to do it. I haven't tried it, actually, uh, to see if Captain Infinity War can can deal with um, Rhino and his charge. Uh, and I believe there's some others, but I don't remember them right now. But Ghost, you just want to wait until he attacks twice. You know, let that unstoppable expire. Now, one thing that Rhino does that's really, really annoying sometimes is he'll do like a double medium or something attack. Um, like right there, that's fine. He can do that all day. Right there, like he's doing right here, no problem. You know, back out from his special two. But every once in a while, he'll do a hit, and then he'll do this quick little, uh, I guess it's his medium attack. But he didn't do it right there. But, ooh, that thing catches me sometimes. And it is so annoying. Uh, when I'm farming for potions, I usually go through all of Realm of Legends, and so I have to deal with 
that rhino. And so that little hit often uh, catches me. All right, so enhanced bleed, aggression, preci uh, precision, uh, and you don't really have to worry about any of those. He can be annoying because of his special one. All right, so my goal was to basically try to push him as much as possible to a special two, which is easy to avoid. All right, now you saw what I did there. I pushed him, but I held block. So instead he fired a heavy off. That is a little tip. Sometimes they'll do that. All right, but you know, I got hit more than I would like, you know, on my block, but I didn't get hit with his special one. All right, so you see here, I'm just hitting one one and I'm almost to my special two again. So now I can push, 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 fire off my special two. Not quite enough to get him to his special two. And I had to phase so I could phase out that recoil. But fortunately, he fired off his special one right away. And I'm just happy that his special one is not unblockable. Otherwise, that makes for not so fun of a time. But down went Falcon. Again, pretty straightforward and easy fights. And the nodes that you have to deal with are not crazy. So now we've got Superior Iron Man. And let's see what nodes we got here. Enhanced Armor Break, Armor Up, Mystic Ward. None of those do I care about. So it's going to be fairly normal fight. Now, I like using Ghost. I'm trying to maintain practice with her and get better. But as you can see, if you've been watching this series, Ghost just rips up stuff and if you haven't done variant 3 yet she is crazy good in variant 3 so um, I do have videos on that as well so you can uh, take a look and see I ended up using like three revives for full exploration so not very difficult for ghost all right, so down goes uh, Superior Iron Man. So we're just cruising along here. Ghost is just taking it to him, left and right. But we do have uh, quite a number of fights. So now we're fighting Groot. Now, I have fun fighting Groot now. You can see he's got nothing there that should concern anyone. Uh, I would take in a... Let me see. Dr. Voodoo, I think, was the one that I had the most fun with, especially in Alliance Quest, because I would wait till he gets like right here. I am Groot and fire off Dr. Voodoo's special one, convert all of those that you see there into poisons. It's a good day when you do that with Dr. Voodoo. A lot of fun, but there are plenty of counters for Groot. Uh, I remember, I think it was map three, that they had a mini boss Groot that we hated. I mean, people were scared to fight that Groot. You know, our skills weren't there uh, at the time. This was quite a while ago. And Groot wrecked us. We didn't know how to fight him. Uh, we tried to go in with Mystics for the most part. Obviously, there was no Dr. Voodoo then. Um, but in the end, and this was funny, uh, when I first started doing map five, I used to avoid map three whenever I could. And if I did have to do map three, we actually would rather do map four. But when we did map three, we had certain people that would take Groot. And I used to always complain about that Groot. Well, when I did map five, I think it was the path all the way to the left, I had to fight two groups and oh did my old alliance mates when they heard about it laugh at me two groups but by that time um i had a dr voodoo uh four star and it was not a problem at all and i also knew how to fight him so it was not a big deal all right so here we are fighting this hulk buster again nothing to worry about uh, you saw the nodes you have to deal with. Nothing that's going to concern Ghost. All right, here we go. Fire off that special uh, two. 
before the power drain. That power drain can be annoying, but as long as you uh, are doing what you need to do with Ghost. Now you see what I did there. I pushed him to a special three because I knew I was going to phase. I have Hood on my team, and with that synergy, I take no damage. But what I forgot was the armor break on his special three. See, now I have an armor break on me, so I cannot phase. Okay, now it went and I was able to phase. So now it's back to normal. So almost messed up really bad right there. I was like, wait, why can't I? Oh, that's right. It's an armor break on his special three. I can't wait for them to update Hulkbuster. They said he's gonna have uh, a reworking and they have always done a good job on their reworks. Now, I would rather evade his special one, but he's almost gone here and down he goes. But normally, I would try to keep him to a special one and evade that. But in this case, you know, with the power drain I was gonna have to deal with periodically, I was just like, nah, let's just go ahead and see if we can't get him down as fast as possible. So now we're gonna fight Punisher. And look at that, Enhance Bleed, Enhance Fury, and Enhance Crits. Not a good time. All right, so the motto is don't get hit. And I already know how Punisher can do. That's why you see I didn't go in with Ghost right away. All right, so the goal here, and I do this with bosses as well, is to just whittle him down. Go in with some other champions. You know, look at that. Look at all that damage. And he hasn't even touched me. But at least I'm getting him down, even if it's a little bit. All right? And all I'm doing is blocking because now I have practiced a little evading his special one. And I can do it most of the time. But here, where it's enhanced bleed, enhanced crits, I don't feel confident. One special one is probably gonna take me out. And if not, maybe two will. And so I decided to just go ahead and take the block damage. I don't wanna deal with his special uh, two though. All right, just look at all that block damage. But my goal here is not to beat him. It's only to hurt him as much as possible because I'm gonna finish him off with somebody else and you still have to deal with his signature ability all right and I don't have anyone that's gonna really take him past that you know if you have somebody that has like a damage over time uh, you can go right past it if you time it just right put a, a nice bleed or poison or degen or something on them and there you see, I pushed him to his special two and got wrecked and didn't get hit. Isn't that fun? You can go down and not even get hit. So now we're going in with Ant-Man. Ant-Man, the beast. Actually, Ant-Man is not that bad with the right synergies. He actually does pretty decent and you can see he's still taking that block damage, but not that bad. And look at the damage he's doing. Okay, he's got that synergy, so don't sleep on Ant-Man now. And Ant-Man, as you'll see right here, now he converted all of those to poisons. Now I got a poison on him, and while he's poisoned, look at the damage I'm doing. My damage just went up. Okay, just look at that, look at the crits. Compare them when I do crit, but compare them to the crits that I was doing before and see how often he's firing off that special uh, one. While he had that poison on him, he was gonna be spamming that special one as much as possible, trying to keep me away, but that's okay. Cause we're still doing some work and Ant-Man is resilient. And now I pushed him to a special two. Didn't want to, took a lot more damage, but that's okay. This is my six star Ant-Man. So I got a little adrenaline, got a little bit of it back, and now we pushed him to the Endured. That's his signature ability. And we just wanna wait that out. Okay, boom, got him down. Don't sleep on Ant-Man. All right, so Ant-Man got me past 
this annoying champion. Now, we got to fight classic Spider-Man. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you know what we're going to do to this classic Spider-Man. We don't have Venom, but we don't need a Venom. And you saw the uh, nodes there. Nothing that's going to concern me with Ghost. So what we're going to do, and I hate when they do that. You see how he backs up like that? Suddenly very passive. I hate that with a passion. It annoys me. And I'll often rush in. And he'll just back up, back up, back up until he's in the corner. I'm like, are you going to fight? Did you come to fight? Apparently not, you know? All right, so here we are. Finally, he's fighting. And you'll see I'm phasing, phasing, one hit, phase, one hit, phase, maybe a couple of hits after that. But that's all I'm doing because when I phase, that first hit cannot be evaded. So I don't have to worry about him evading. All right, so there we go. Some of the times that I hit him, though, he could evade, but I'm getting lucky uh, on those. But as you can see here, I'm doing the one hit, and we took him out. Did not have him evade at all. Love it. But you do have to fight a certain way. But we did get fortunate in a couple of other cases. Uh, because we did attack him with like two hit combos and three hit, and he could definitely have evaded. All right, we are now at this boss, and this boss is very annoying. It is a very long fight. I hate it. All right, you see that indomitable? All right, and you see the plague mine, armor break immunity, enhanced armor ups, and improved power gain. And if that wasn't bad enough, they gave him an arc overload. This is a annoying fight. And so I already knew going in here that it was going to be a long fight. Now, I hadn't boosted up before. And so I'm looking here going, okay, is there any boosts? And I'm like, no, I don't think there's any boost that's going to help me uh, with my current team. And so I'm like, well, we're just going to have to buckle in. Uh, what I ended up doing, as you see here, I went ahead and used one of the 15% boosts uh, to just try to speed this up because I hate, 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 hate long fights. Uh, I will lose focus and get wrecked. All right. And you can see I'm, I'm trying to do everything that I know to do to make this fight go a little bit faster. Since I'm going to be using Captain America, I went ahead and used some of the science boosts. And here we go here. Let me see. Did I use one of these? I think I used, yeah, a nice little 20% uh, boost just to try to get this fight to go a little faster. Uh, I didn't have Corvus. I don't even know if I would have used Corvus. Maybe. Maybe when I'm doing my exploration, I'll go ahead and use Corvus. Uh, even though I can't armor break him, uh, Corvus may be able to do much damage. And then I will just use up all of my charges and then quit the fight, revive, go on back in. All right. Um, but that arc overload is what concerned me the most. So in most fights, even the difficult ones, other than like the champion fight, you know that while it may take some revives, you will eventually get them down if you're willing to use up, you know, enough revives. Well, I have something like 40 between level one and level two revives. I have something like 40 single revives, I have some in my overflow, and I also have some team revives as well. So I wasn't too worried about it, at least for the initial clear. If I use too many uh, revives, then that would just let me know that when I come back through here with, uh, you know, to explore that I need to do something else. You know, I might need to bring someone else in. But I brought in Captain America Infinity War. He is max sig. So he has reliable utility. 
you will notice that even though he is armor break immune, we don't care about that. Every time we parry him, we get a petrify buff on him. And if you remember what the node said, anytime you see that arc overload right there, you'll notice he didn't regen. Now he can't have his healing reversed, but it will stop the healing. So it won't go much faster. See, I stunned him there. That was nice. And then I messed up. That was all me. Now, what happened, just to let you know, uh, and some of you that have been playing for a while will know what I'm talking about. They changed the icon. So when you are stunned, there used to be, I think, a swirly icon. But they've changed that. So what happened right there is that I was looking at the wrong icon and I thought he was still stunned when I fired off my attack. Now, what happened there, and I did get a little tilted, uh, she just would not move. Uh, when I swiped, she stood there. That's why she got hit like that and got taken out. And I'm just like, whatever. Um, so at this point, I don't have anyone that can uh, stop the healing. All right, so I don't want to let that arc overload fire off. So I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible. And you can see Wasp. Now you see that stun right there was the squirrely, but they've changed the icon for it. And I don't remember where they changed it, but I ended up looking at the wrong icon and got wrecked thinking that he was still stunned. Um, I'll have to look back and, and see, but I remember that they've changed that uh, with someone else. I thought it was with him, but it may not have been with him. Anyway, just look at Wasp. Lots of damage. Okay, she's doing some good work. I saw that the arc overload was about to kick in, and so I was like, never mind. All right, so we're already, you know, got him down to about half. So I'm happy about that. I'm like, okay, you know, that was some decent work. Uh, we want to heal up a little bit, you know, not not all the way up to max. Uh, now, Captain America Infinity War, other than his um, his uh, signature ability utility, he also, don't ask me what happened there. That was just me messing up. Um, but he also has very good block proficiency. So he takes that blocked hit like a champ. And all of these guys in here do a lot of block damage. So that's actually pretty good. All right. So again, now, like I said, with long fights, I get really tired. All right. So here we go. Boom. Now I stunned him. And okay, there we go. I don't know if you saw that, but there was another icon that popped up and I got confused by those two icons. Just take a look and you'll see what I mean. There were like two icons that looked very similar and it was very easy for me to get mixed up. All right, so anyway, that's what happened. Uh, but so I'm just like, okay, well this time I just know not to go in, not gonna do that again. I healed up a little bit more so that I could hopefully last a little bit longer. All right. Um, but yeah, there. So the Petrify debuff to me is confusing because when I'm just glancing up there, that Petrify debuff looks a lot like the um, stun debuff. All right. So there we are. We have two Petrifies, right? Now, here we go. We stunned him. And you see me? I'm not even playing around anymore. I just said, yo, you just have to come out of that stun. I was not going back in. We weren't getting caught again. And then I tried to evade. So you saw that I took those blocked hits. That was supposed to be an evade. I swiped back. He stood there. I'm getting hit. And I'm just like, why won't you move? And then he finally moved and got hit by the special. So I'm tilted. I am tilted 
beyond tilted right now but i'm just like let's just get it done i have other things to do and i need to get it done all right um so uh let me uh i'm gonna have to look back and see and i'll probably point to the uh icon but the petrify confuses me but when i do manage to stun him like with the parry stun another icon comes up that is quite different and i think that's the one that they changed uh don't ask i just was uh, off my timing right there now see right there we were able to evade that time no problem all right and we still got almost 30 percent to go it's just a long fight uh and i don't like it you saw how much uh, i got that crit was a 13k crit so that helped a lot uh we need more crits uh from you captain america all right but at least we don't have to worry about that healing as you can see no healing all right so here we go again we're down to like four percent health just look at this we just want to get as much damage in as possible at this point we can't take any more uh blocked hits we're gonna go down we know it all right we're just gonna try to evade this boom boom go in just get as much here we go and that was just my suicide play because i knew i was going down and i just wanted to do as much damage as i could before i went down so once again we're reviving him up now i don't know if there is anyone better i don't have a warlock i think warlock is a great option for this fight i don't know if that's true um but i believe he is but i don't have him uh i don't remember if void does well in this fight but void my void is not awakened and i still have him at rank three so that wasn't going to help at all and so we're just continuing on with this long fight and i don't remember if there was an item use event going on um i know that i did this during an item uh item use event but i don't know if this particular quest if it was still going on but i think so uh and yeah i did score the highest in the item use uh but anyway so we've got him down now to 14 and if you know anything about iron man infinity war you know that once he gets to 15 that's when he does all those auto block shenanigans so we're fighting him the way that we normally fight him anyway just baiting out his heavy and then countering his heavy with our own heavy but look at that power gain okay we had to bait that out so this is the annoying part you don't really want to die at this stage otherwise it just gets annoying all right so i'm just like all right we got it we got it don't mess up don't mess up look at this and he's got another special too just that fast all we're, we're completely on the defensive at this point just look at this more this is why you don't want to die at this stage because it's annoying just look at this but he was free with his specials and here we go again he's got he's down to four percent we've almost got it almost got it can we do it without another revive he fired his heavy oh three percent bait out another special and look at that power gain all right boom boom and we have to be careful because we don't want to push him to a special three. Ooh, very close he fired off that special two otherwise we would have gotten wrecked it would be another revive but he goes down and we didn't all right so that's gonna do it for the longest boss fight in this entire quest so take care everybody click like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought about the video i hope this helps you in your run for your initial clear so take care and you all have a blessed day